Hello, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. Yeah, I need to... I need to work on that... Uh, need to work on the... Uh, that BGM. This music really wanna makes you grace up an old man and try to catch him in the woods. Huh? What does that mean, Pass? Also, also, hello everyone. Hey, Vale, Adam, Pass. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. I, despite uh, whatever, whatever that is supposed to mean, Pass. <laughs> okay. All right, let's get started. All right, so when we last left off here, we got kicked out of the village. And now we need to head somewhere. We need to seek out Leon. Disaster looming. All right, let's go there then. Which button was it? Which button was it to go faster? It was this. It was this. Okay. Yeah. It was B to go faster and then Y to jump. Got it. Got it. Uh, I'm I'm doing okay, pass. Sneezler. Switch back to... There we go. Some revenue... Yeah, get some... Get some food if you... If you got it. Alright. Let's climb up here. Cool. I guess we could just fly. Yeah, we can, can fly. Welcome if you got him. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Yeah, we, we could have just flown here. Oh, well. Yeah, VT would understand. Fucking Pokemon. You! What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift! If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokémon at Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clan is in a panic now. now let me turn... Let me turn that up a bit. There we go. I should have known the only thing that could come from that rift was disaster. Need help. Never mind, then. Help! Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I wouldn't like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleavor's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I alone can do for you. Warden Maya might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. She's a caring woman, after all. There we go. You'll most likely find Maya at the Warren Bridge. I believe it's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there is a place for you as well. Alright. Got Maya, and I believe... Let's zoom out. No? Still here? Okay. So where is... So you got my Over at the Warren Bridge. There we go. Alright, let's go. It doesn't say that on my... It's not pointing it out, though. Hold on. Where is it? I'm not seeing an indicator. Oh, there it is. It's like, where was it? There it is. You hate having a stuffy nose, yeah.
Yeah, same here, pass. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, hope, uh, hope you're feeling alright otherwise. Yeah, that reminds me, I still need to get my, uh, my flu shot. There we go. Called out today to rest, you feel worse? Yeah. My, my. What a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. You don't know what brought this about, do you? Don't know. I suppose it was too much to expect that you could already have an answer to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? I'm afraid that the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy Team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weirdeer took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but can't solve the world's biggest problems only ten. Forgive me. I cannot help you in this. Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt you'll continue to find a path to walk. Well, okay. We're, we're just wandering, then. That's all we can do. Remember in Pokemon made a half decent game <laughs> Legends Arceus acting like this shit's hard. Hmm. Oh. It's a Shinx. Hmm. Okay. Being led somewhere? Okay. Oh. It's this guy again, I think. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? I was enunciated a bit weird. Found you at last, Effie. Alright. I've been looking all over for you, you know. What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry. I've already heard what happened. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. It seems you're in quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy Team has treated you. But not to worry. There are still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let me, let me do your redeem pass. Ha! I, the world's strongest and most powerful life form, have to say that Adam from Twitch.tv is correct. That VT would most likely enjoy that reference. Now obey me. Thank you, pass. I know a spot that'll be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. All hail shadow. <laughs> Here we are. All right. I know, I know, it's no palace. But you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Speak to the person who dwells here at the retreat. Okay. Shirking your work to come pester me again? Even beneath a bleeding sky, 
You never change. A good merchant knows well the importance of staying up with all the latest news. Hey, Saffron. Hope you're doing well. Always a pleasure, Miss Mistress Kojita. But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No, Mistress, thank you. Just Kojita. And this is Why, Abby is the woman of the hour. A oh, good <laughs> She's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. Seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Lost one. Well, yeah. Indeed. I am to guide you, lost one. For the task of preventing great disaster falls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. Okay. Alright, what is... what you got to say? The space-time rift is said to be a portal to... Im to innumerable other dimensions. In one such realm, far and farther still, far and farther still from ours, dwells all dwells Almighty Sinnoh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. I'll do your redeem too, Saffron. A good merchant knows well the importance of breasting Bufali down the stairs. It's just basic facts, John. The diamonds, cl diamond clans, the pearl clans, the pearl clans, the expanse from antiquity to eternity, and the expanse to all sides above and below. Time traces the path we tread from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. Ron Faleld, you are so big and fat. <laughs> what do you mean? Huh? What? what do you mean I can't name my character Melinda Mega Melons? <laughs> I. I'm the one who paid for this game. I <laughs> can't read this with a straight face. <laughs> Thank you for the redeem pass. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two clans do? They're inseparable. Yeah. You can't. And perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. Here is what she must do. These clans confirmed fucking dorks. Yeah. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance. Lake Verity, Lake Valor, and Lake Acuity. At each dwells a Pokémon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set you, and bear their gifts to the Shrouded Ruins. There you may receive the Red Chain. With it, perhaps you can bind the world together. Find the world, you say? Do you mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what they bid us do. 
How true they are isn't mine to know. And regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to their children without a thought for the hardship it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Yeah, I'll do it. There is nobility in knowing what must be done and seeing to it. Oh. Hang on, I'm getting a call from God. <laughs> you can see the locations of the three of three lakes marked in your arc phone. Mistress Gogeta's got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'd, I'd be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. What about the pastures? Ah, that is a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? What was that cry? Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do see to it, please. God really just be like, yo... <laughs> Yo, Abby, is this a bad time? <laughs> How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, Abby. Alright. Now what else have we got? Is this game an isekai? Hello, hello. It's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Abby. Well, yeah, pass it. I think it is. It is established as a, as an isekai from from the intro. Yeah, if if you watch the intro of the game, then yeah, it's it's pretty clear. A closer look at the letter. To Abby, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilife Village. Also ensure that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an Adept Survey Corps member to, to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Oh, Survey Corps Captain, Galaxy Expedition. The clan leader's dialogue at the start of the game confirmed that already. Yeah, that is, a, that's a good point. I, also, I'm I'm doing well, Dale. Hope uh, glad to see that you are as well. Or glad to hear. Hmm. Good tidings from the letter, then. Yep. Now then, so we're to visit three lakes. It doesn't sound like an easy task, that's for sure. It sure would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Now, oh, Irida. How did it go again? I'm not sure. Yeah, at least at least Silene is looking out for us. Quite the opportunist, aren't you, Volo? Such a consummate guild merchant. Oh, they're here. Almighty Sinnoh, something, something, time. Almighty Sinnoh, something, something, space. Blah, 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 time. Blah, 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 space. Your space is stupid. Your time is stupid. Yeah, so something like that. I've managed to reassure my people for now. The Wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles, too. Seems all's quiet for the moment. And so, here we are. But still, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If, we're to under if we were to undermine the Commander's direct orders, relations would grow... strained. Long story short, we want to help, but without drawing attention, so it'll be just one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. Choose whose help you want on the path ahead, Adamant of the Diamond Clan or Irida of the Pearl Clan. Time is key. No, space is gay. <laughs> I mean, who's to say they can't both be gay? Oh, hey, Wish. 
Watching a Yodo Camp movie with some buddies so you'll be lurking. Alright. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy the movie. <laughs> thanks for... Thanks for stopping in. Time and space are gay and they're boyfriends. Exactly. Exactly. Alright. Alright, chat. Now we, now we have to decide. Adamant or Irida? I'm gonna make a poll. I'll make a poll for y'all to decide. Poll. The speed of light is their shot. <laughs> Who's helping out? Who do we want to help from? Adamin? Irida. And then I'll... I'll give that two minutes. Yeah. I will let the chat decide. Do we want Adamin or Irida? All right, and I'll just I'll just let that poll run for two minutes. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna look at my team. See who we got here. We got our Typhlosion, flamethrower, hex, roll out quick attack. Yeah, that that seems okay. I think we <laughs> we got our Alpha Parasect. <laughs> Love this one. Exer slash Spore Venoshock. Seem, seems fairly decent, yeah. We got our Drift Blim. Calm Mind and three attacks. Seems like the way to go. The Champ. The Champ. <laughs> we love him. We got Luxray. Wild Charge, Thunderfang, Crunch, Quick Attack. I'm not sure... I'm not sure about having two electric type moves. I may replace either either Wild Charge or Thunderfang later on. We got our Alpha Star Raptor, who who took a who kind of took a while. <laughs> took a while for us to be able to use reliably. Paris are just one of the most aggressive Pokemon in this game. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of how of how Dragonite is portrayed in the the Gen. Five anime or, or like post Gen Five, where it's just a, where it's just mean and aggressive. It, it kind of reminds me of that. We have our Floatzel, double hit Aqua Tail, Crunch Aqua Jet. That's pretty good. And that's it. Oh, looks like we have a tie. <laughs> we have a tie between uh, Adamant and Irida. Iris's Dragonite? I was more thinking about uh, Lance's Dragonite. I think that was... Was that Origins? Gotta pick Volo. <laughs> if only. The choice doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose not. Alright. Um... See, I think I will, uh, I will flip a coin. Yeah, I'll go to random.org and flip a coin, see who it lands on. All right, if it lands on heads, we'll pick Adamin. If it lands on tails, we'll pick Irida. Let's see, I'll, I'll make sure to, uh, to capture, capture my browser. Random.org coins. Yeah, there we go. Browser. Now let's just see if this works. Okay. Um. Yeah, it seems to show up. I'm not sure why it's transparent though. That's that's a little weird. That's that's kind of weird. Um, let's interact with this. Yeah, why, why is it transparent? That's so weird. 
Anyway, can we? Oh, we can't actually select these. That's that's a little uh, that's a little awkward. Todd Redden's decision maker coin. I I don't know what that is, but let, let's go with it. Let's let's go with this. Okay. Okay, heads, heads, Adamin, tails, Irida. Let's flip a coin. Do it. Is that is that heads or tails? Todd Redden's decision maker. I have no idea what this is. Is it is that heads or tails? Um, I assume, I assume do, <laughs> yeah, the coin just introducing more uncertainty. All right, let's, can we try a different coin? All right, US one cent, here we go. Here we go, yes, a penny. <laughs> here, th th this'll, this'll work better. Speaking of giant stuff, you're going back through Pokemon Shield, catching which of shiny Pokemon you can't get elsewhere. Oh, nice. Welcome back, Adam. Enjoy your nuggies. All right, flip coin. All right, heads, Adam, and tails, ear down. Here we go. It's tails. All right, looks like we're going with Irida. Chuggies. <laughs> Chuggies. Chuggy cheese. All right. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleavor. You and I made his bombs together. Let's do it. Just what I would expect of you, Abby. You made the right choice. You won't regret it. Chuggy from Rugrats. <laughs> uh, so then, the leftover leader will... <laughs> leftover? Think again. Abby, trust me not to leave the tough job up to me alone. <laughs> the coin landed on its side. <laughs> does does random.org do that? D do they actually have... Can they actually have the coin land on its side? God, I hope not. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on the commander, so I can let you all know if anything bad happens. Okay. Of course, of course. And the lucky chosen one comes with us to the lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui region's three great, three great lakes to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. I'd rather we walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whichever lake we choose. All right, Irida. You and Abby, well, you two do what needs to do. The Trial of Lake Verity. All right. Oh, we're just getting all of these. Okay. Trial of Lake Valor. Trial of Lake Acuity. All right. All right. Where do we want to go first? Yeah, are we going to Verity, Valor, or Acuity? Let's check the missions and requests. Okay, Verity is in the Obsidian Field lands, like Valor is Crimson Mire lands. Acuity is in the Alabaster Ice lands. Okay. We'll do Lake Verity first, then. That's a, That sounds right. Let's help us find... Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go. Where will you be heading? Lake Verity. Let's do it. Yeah, go here. Try to ask chat to vote on it again. <laughs> 
Yeah, probably. If, if they actually manage to tie. All right, there's the waypoint. There's probably an easier way to get up here, but oh well. Or, or to get up to the lake. But we're flying. We're gonna fly. Alright. One more. There, there we go. Right, let's go. We are Sorin. <laughs> Falling with style. Yeah. They say this lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. It was when Mesprit took flight that people first, in first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go, anyway. Alright. <laughs> okay. Oh, cave. That cave! It just appeared from nowhere! Is that the Arc Phone the professor was going on about? What surprises wait within, I wonder? Mistress Kojita seemed quite intent that you would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokémon that guard these lakes. This challenge was never for the faint of heart. Alright. Here we go. We gotta, we gotta fight Mesprit? Yeah, we gotta, I assume we gotta fight here. The air feels somehow tense in here. <laughs> Gudra, a menacing Pokemon stands before you. The big goo. <laughs> there it is. You and your Pokémon quelled Hisui's nobles. You can handle any battle, Abby. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Fight the big goo with the big mush. I guess we have to walk up to it. Alright, fine. Here we go. You got this, Parasect. Shelter. Okay. Became obscured. All the completions. <laughs> An Alpha, Sui, and Gudra. Gonna add that to my Pokédex. If only they knew. All right. We'll set up with Spore here. Start things off. Nice. All right. Unfortunately, none of our moves are none of our moves here are very effective. Let's see. Anybody else we can use? Oh, we have a Star Raptor with close combat. Maybe. Knew what? Honestly, I don't know. I don't actually know. Alright, close combat. Here we go. Oh, obscured. Gudra's no longer obs that, no longer obscured. Alright, let's get a really strong hit in. Yeah, that's good. 
Oh, nice. All right. Let's get a Brave Bird in. Nice. Catch? I'm, I'm not sure if we could have caught it, honestly. But we did, we did beat it, though. And, like, if I need to catch it, I can always... I can always come back here later, right? You can catch these alphas? Mm, I see. Yeah, I can... I do intend to complete the Pokédex here at some point, so I'll just come back to this place later. You're not sure? Mm. I'll figure it out. It's curious, but when I watch you in your Pokémon battle, I feel as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if people and Pokémon work together. Now, let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. You feel a mysterious presence catch these hands. Oh. There it is. Quick check to see if one respawns for you. Might not, might not work since you did catch them. Hmm. Yeah, we, we can always find out. And besides, if I if I miss out on an alpha, it's no big deal. All I care about is the uh, is the poke the actual Pokemon. Your emotions, share them with me. They're yours, not a chance. Hmm. No? Okay. <laughs> the, the illusion of choice. Not responding for you? Okay. That's, that's probably because you caught them, right? I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokémon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Surprise, panic, bewilderment. I like bewilderment. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Exciting. Okay. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? We're all so different. It's a wide world. I don't know. Different. Yeah. What did you feel when cast out of the Galaxy team? I felt bitter. Yeah. The alpha in each cavern never respawns, I see. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. I mean, it's, it's not as if this is the only place you can catch these alphas, right? It's just like a, a unique opportunity to. The spirit of emotion? I, I assume so. Mesprit's plume. Proof you've completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. Yeah. Yeah, the being of emotion. You got it fast. Alright. Alpha is seeing Gudral Spears of the Coronet Highlands? Yeah. Yeah, I figured it wouldn't be the only... the only place. I know that Pokémon spoke with you, yet the words did not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but... I suppose in dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, on to Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. The Gudra has a guaranteed spot, you don't think the other two do? Hmm. Okay. So I guess I can catch them. I can I can try to at least. Um I I don't expect it to be easy.
Looks like that worked out well, Abby. I must say, you know an awful lot about Hisui, though, though. I suppose a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's because I'm a merchant, but mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or, more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. The same goes for me. Our clan settled at the very spot where our forebears once once beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I... I have still never seen Almighty Sinnoh for myself. Weighty matters to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kojita's home? Yeah, sure. Perfect. I'd like to see what she thinks of our progress. Well, you see... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. What's she got to say? Ah. Mesprit's bloom. So the legends told it true. And the red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kojita, ma'am. What do these Pokémon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain? And why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end? Would we even know it? Hmm. One might even say the world, time, Space, all creation, exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I... what? So, does the mind create the world? But isn't it the other way around? Or is it... Such are myths, my child teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They urge us to think more for ourselves, on the nature of Almighty Sinnoh, and on the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is, is complete two more trials and we will get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. How confident of successes to which you contribute nothing. <laughs> Damn, alright. You tag along only for the chance to gawk at more ancient ruins. <laughs> you didn't have to do them like that. <laughs> that she just went for the throat. <laughs> Damn. We're going to the ice, the Alabaster Icelands next. Oh, there's a lot of satchels. That's that's a lot. Okay. I guess we can get Kojita woke up and chose violence. Yeah, just shredding his jugular like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm seeing a lot of satchels here. Why don't we, why don't we pick some of these up? Let's let's help some people out here on our way to the, on our way to the lake. All right, let's recover this one first. Let's go. And for those of you. Uh, for those of you with no uh, with no context on this, hold on, Sneasler. Grab some crunchy salt. Like these these satchels are dropped by other players when they when they're defeated by a wild Pokemon. 
So that's why there's that's why there's so many of these lying around. We got one right over here. We got it back. Yeah, so we're just uh, we're just helping some uh, some unlucky players who who lost their stuff. Because why not? All right, there's the other satchel. Oops, and there's another one over here. Yeah, might as well. All right, the waypoint is... There's a snow run there. All right, over here. Let's go this way. Let's go up the mountain. All right. Just, uh... There we go. There it is. I'm curious how they lost all these satchels. Oh, you know what? Is that? Yeah, that's an Alpha Machamp. That would explain it. <laughs> yeah. I can I can see how how they lost their satchel there. <laughs> they they tend to show up around alphas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. They they, they picked a fight with the wrong one. <laughs> Alright, and the last satchel is over this way. Got it. Nice. Okay. And Lake Acuity is right over here. Up we go. Up here. Nice. And we'll get to the next... There's probably some in the... Uh, there's probably some more satchels in the Crimson Mire Lands we have yet to pick up. There we go. Alright. Here we are. Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told it actually contains seawater as well. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve, to solve problems was born in people's minds. And that's what the stories say, anyway. Hey. <laughs> Getting a call from God, it's for you. <laughs> Cave. <laughs> that's, that's not what it is. That's not what it is. This history also would be super interesting. We didn't have a mission to do. <laughs> I mean, we're also collecting satchels, so, you know. Doesn't hurt. A tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a handy one to have. I wonder what waits inside. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there, protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. Here we... Huh? Oh. <laughs> it, it just... Uh, that, that UI... There, there's just an eye that appeared, like a Pokemon spotted us, but then it... But now it's gone. Okay. I sense a chill in the air. What is this? 
Oh, okay. It's Hisuian Zoroark. Could... Could that be the dreaded Baneful Fox? Is that what it's called? Hmm. Oh yeah, let's make sure to heal up. Oh yeah, let's also... Also go to our Lost and Found here. Get us some merit points. Bane? <laughs> Could it be? Oh yeah, th there's a lot of lost satchels around here. A lot of these seem to be from the same person, too. Huh. Someone's a... Someone's a little reckless, it seems. Alright, um... Oh, we don't need to heal. Yeah, we're all good. Real overconfident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just like, there's just like four of these from this one player alone. Alright, here we go. Overconfident or super reckless, either or. Either or, really. The Alpha Zoroark is filled with wild knights. Oh, it's going first. Nasty plot, huh? Goes from agile straight to strong. Okay. And it gets a crit on top of that. Alright. I see how it is. Alright. We're gonna have to fight this one. Alright, Agile Flamethrower. Got burned, okay. Bitter Malice. Normal ghost. Surely they wouldn't bring that typing to Scarlet and Violet, right? Right? Alright. It's status. Let's go for Agile Mystical Fire. It lost its boost. It's still clicking strong style, though. And it's still burned. Burn was healed. Let's let's see if we can catch this thing. All right, items. Great ball. Let's use it. I don't expect this to work first try. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, nah, th this isn't gonna work. Well, <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe I should have, Saffron. <laughs> maybe I should have. The Baneful Fox is a Pokemon said to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. All right, and... There's Yuxi. Alright. What have you got to say? Hold on, let me... Let me... Oh wait, I don't need to. Because we all get healed anyway. Hmm. I will test your knowledge. Okay. Humby. Zubats. Unknown. Magneton. Dusclops. 
How many are their eyes? Tell me each, one by one, yet all at once. Answer me. Okay. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. Okay. So, Combi. Alright, so Combi... Combi has six eyes. Yeah, two and two for each face. Um, Zubat has no eyes. Unknown has one eye. Magneton has three total, and then Dusclops has one. Is this the logic one? Uh, it looks like a uh, knowledge, I believe, pass. Yeah, yeah. How many other eyes? Okay. Yes, I'm ready to answer. Enter your answers together as a series of numbers. Okay. Six, zero, one, three, one. Okay. The big brain boy, yeah. <laughs> eight, zero, zero, eight, five, God. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool puzzle. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Oh my guys, you'll lose all your memories. Yeah. Yuxi's Claw. Proof you've completed the trial set by Yuxi, the being of knowledge that lives in Lake Acuity. Cool. Now we only have one more. Goodness, that was tricky. But only one more to go now. Excuse me. Let's go. He will go back. I think we heal if we go back to, uh, if we go back to that lady's house. I assume all went well, Abby. Still, I must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they mean to test whether whoever seeks it is worthy? Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Though, on the other hand, what use would these wrong hands have for it? Who can say for sure? Maybe the Red Chain has some other use besides mending the world. The Red Chain's as mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lakes, we'll get closer to an answer. So, shall we return to Mistress Kojita's home? Yeah. Yeah, I'll sit back there. Wonderful. And we can see if Mistress Kojita has any more insights to share with us. And and we get our and we get our team healed up. That's that's pretty good too. So that's Yuxi's claw. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trials of these lake Pokemon. Main character is silently thinking back to all the shit that'll go down a couple centuries in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilee Village are tense. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those Ginkgo Guild no one of those Ginkgo Guild merchants informed me that Commander Kamado has raised has raised a force. Not to survey the Pokemon, but to subdue it, should the need arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants? You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Now if if a Pokémon truly were to appear from beyond the Rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let Hisui's great vastness stop you, Abby. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. 
I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Need to make haste. <laughs> also, we've arrived at the place. Let me give you a history lesson on this. <laughs> yeah, for priorities. Priorities. Alright, off to the Meyerlands. See if you got anything to say. Something you need? Well, you come to the right place. I'm a Ginkgo Guild merchant. I am a Ginkgo Guild mer merchant, after all. I can't say that quickly. Koji, you already <laughs> you need to make another strike. Yeah. <laughs> She's just kicking him while, he while he's down at that point. Alright, off to the Meyerlands. Ireland's camp, I suppose. I, think it ma I don't think it matters whether we go to Meyerlands or Bogbound. Let's see, any... Yeah, there's a lot of satchels here. Let's pick them up. Oh, two of, a, two of that person's satchels are here, it looks like. What were, what were they up to here? There we go. Whoa. Why is this so <laughs> Why is this so hazy? What what's this about? Why <laughs> why was it so hazy there? That was weird. It's on the edge of the map, maybe. Alright, where's that satchel? Oh, alright. There's a Murkrow over here. Where's the satchel? Tiny... Those little tiny tornadoes. Where's the satchel? Yeah, it might have been I was... Uh, might have been that I was close to the edge. That's why... It, that's why it was so foggy there. This is going to be a, a little harder than I thought it would be. Okay. Satchel. Satchel, where are you? Alright. Alright, let's... Let's clear these guys out. Also, the guy who dropped five satchels. Yeah. <laughs> True. Alright, we got this. Alright, Drift Blim, get him. Golbat is looking around. Shadow Ball. Uh, well, extra sensory could have worked there too, but it's fine. It's a level 21 gulp. It's a level 21 Zubat. It's not exactly the tankiest thing around. Strong style extra sensory here, though. Should work. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. Alright, we've cleared him out. Now let's find that satchel. Let's also heal and heal our Luxray up. Hyper you up. There we go. Okay. It's hard to see where the where the satchel is. Hmm. Let's see, can I have a can I have a Pokemon search for it? Oh wait, is that it? Yeah, that's it. 
Weird, it was it was all the way over there. Alright, looks like um looks like this person lost another satchel over that way. Let's go over here. Oh wait. Up there. We got a wisp. Alright, let's go. Oh, we could have switched to Braviary. It's fine. It's fish time. Alright. Go. Alpha? Oh, just a haunter. It should tell you if these are shiny, right? Like, for some reason, I feel like this haunter might be shiny. I could be wrong, though. No, th these look identical. Okay. So they're probably not shiny. I can see why, uh... You know, I, I can see how this person lost a satchel here, too. It, that, that makes sense. It'll be explicit if you L-target it. Hmm. Oh yeah, the... Oh yeah, Shiny Haunter is easier to tell if it's, if it's shiny. Right, let's, let's hurry towards the next satchel. It's over here. Let's go. Yeah, that way. Oh, Sneezler. There we go. Oh, there's an alpha. <laughs> this is a different person. Uh, Thomas. Yeah, there's, there's the Alpha. Two of them. Yeah, I can, I can see, uh, I can see how Thomas might have lost a satchel here, too. Alright, there's one more. We gotta find, uh, we gotta find Kenny's lost satchel. The waypoint is over here. Alpha Haunter and Alpha Ghastly. Yeah. Jeez. Alright, this way. Alright, there it is. Gotcha. All the alpha guys <laughs> chilling like villains, yeah. Yeah, it seems like it. Alright. Oh, there's a wisp over there. Let's grab it. Waterfall. Sneezler. Nice. Since when do when do most villains have any chill? I mean, they can sometimes. If they're if they're allowed time to, they can be chill. Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokémon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokémon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs to be done the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts. Or that is what legend would have us believe. And Mr. Freeze, what killed the dinosaurs, the Ice Age? Yeah.
The final cave. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Abby. You'll live up to your family name, do what has to be done by me. <laughs> Let's head in, Abby. I imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. Yep. What killed the Ice Age Blue Sky being bought by Disney and shut down? It is a good day to do what has to be done by me and help my brother to defeat the enemies. <laughs> what an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave anyway? What would be my own brother? Well, Pufferfish. Watch yourself, Abby. Those quills look vicious. It's Overquill. <laughs> what a name. Fishimi. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Poison Dart. That makes sense. Poison Jab. Yeah. Okay. We gotta fight this one too. Okay, so Flamethrower will deal neutral damage to it. Alright. Let's use... let's just use a regular Flamethrower. No... no Agile or Strong Style. Yeah, there we go. It's clicking Strong Style Aqua Tail immediately. Okay. What else can we weaken it with? Maybe Driftblin? We'll use Driftblin. Yeah, this is what tends to happen if you're under-leveled. Alright, Mystical Fire it is. But at least lower its attack a bit. I don't know if that stacks. It probably doesn't. I clicked... Okay, clicked Agile Aqua Tail. Alright, Drifblim is tanky enough to survive. Okay. <laughs> we, we got lucky last time we tried ca catching one of these things. <laughs> no shot it happens again. No shot we get lucky a second time. There's, <laughs> there's no way. I can't believe it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Caught it on the first ball again. <laughs> okay. Sure. We, we take those. I knew you could do it, Abby. Can afford to be a, a, just a little. A little complacent. Just a little. I'm losing all my channel points on these predictions. <laughs> I'm broke. Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh, okay. Wait, palms? Are you meant to try to hit yourself with them then? All right. Okay, Marsh Bomb. Hmm. Alright, this one's a little tricky to figure out, it seems. Hmm, okay. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? Not through yet. All right, what's what's the trick here? You're too slow. Come on, step it up. 
All right. There's got to be a trick to this. Okay. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? I'm not done yet. Keep trying until the very end to hit his elf with the bombs. <laughs> you hear a voice in your head. Get good. Now go in the face of his elf being a cheap asshole, yeah. Okay. Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? Yeah, maybe this is the real test. All right, where are you? Oh, there you are. Teleports behind you. <laughs> literally, t literally teleports behind you. <laughs> Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. A Zelf's Fang. Nothing person elf, kid. <laughs> the being of willpower. That looked exhausting. Now we've journeyed to all three lakes. You did it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Nothing person elf. <laughs> I'll give you all three of these restored in nice little envelopes right out the package. Yeah. It seems we finished the three lake trials. Uh, we? <laughs> we? Volo, what have you been doing this whole time? Yeah. <laughs> the fuck did you do, huh? What do you... The fuck you mean, we? If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. He's been giving you lore, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what could await us there. I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Imagine not knowing about the seawater. <laughs> Let us be on our way. Not heading back to a Kojita's house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suspected it was gonna be this video, yeah. <laughs> let me let me play it. We We <laughs> Were you able to hear that okay? <laughs> The whole show is great, yeah? <laughs> you could hear it? Alright, good. The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokémon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Oh, there she is. You arrived just when we'd, assemb just when we'd assembled all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokémon, if you really wish to know. Could you mean the Pokémon that flits about the Hisui region? Uh, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? 
I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Isui for the answer? Oh, what was that? Need to ask God for help. Yeah. Oh, there they are. Ah. The Pokemon of the Lakes. Yeah, the Lake Guardians. The Chain. That is not at all what it looked like in, uh, in Diamond and Pearl. I remember it looked <laughs> it, it looked a lot more uh, metallic in those games. I'm just saying. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last I can set this burden aside. You've succeeded once again, Abby. Yet, things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. When Cyrus forged the three light gardens to forge the chain... Force the Three Light Guardians to forge chains, kind of in modern times, and an asshole. Yeah, that's fair. Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift? To study it himself? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Abbey has managed to get the red chain, now does he? That's true. There's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and about everything Abby has achieved before he sets out. Yeah. Future chains, everything looks metallic and futuristic. Yeah. Yeah. That does make sense. Not the sky gone to plaid. <laughs> Hi, PT. Everything is chrome in the future. You do know that from Scarlet and Violet. Wait, Abby, it's you. Can't believe I just let you pass right by. Oh, thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be all right. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. It's another space ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was another space balls reference. Pass told. Oh, I see. Pass told you. Oh, my dear Abby. Professor, I know you've been worried about Abby, but there's no need to cry. S did you smoke if you had him? <laughs> I'm not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You, you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Abby. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? Uh, she's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. It seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Commodore's gone. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. Real murder-suicide. <laughs> yeah. He is determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokémon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the Security Corps folks. The Simpson is shuckled. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain.
So you managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Sure, slightly. <laughs> yeah, we, we picked you, though. Truthfully... Truthfully, I made a poll. I made a poll beforehand, and it tied, so I ended up doing a coin flip. And we ended up choosing her. Before moving forward, I must ask... I assume that you are here again because you managed to learn something of use? Fate has saints. <laughs> Got the red chain. Go on. Yeah, it was a decision maker coin of some kind. Selene needs that plausible deniability. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. If you say so. Explain about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool said to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilife Village. The security corps have been scouting the area near the space time rift. And they've reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander is has made the decision to take the security corpse of the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky without Abby's help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Abby, take that red chain to Mount Coronet. Make your way to the peak, and put an end to all this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. That's a good point. Then I'll go as well. We're, we're all in this together, we members of the Survey Corps. Selene is based. Naturally. No one suggested you should not. Alright, we'll go to Mount Coronet, but first we gotta check our check the rewards we got from recovering those satchels. Let's see what we got. We got our card back. We're back to being a fifth star member. Alright, we got... Got some merit points. Nice. Hyper potions. Cool. And smoke bombs. Alright, let's go. Mount Coronet. Jubilee Village, okay. Right, we gotta go to the front gate. That's right. Yes, to the front gate. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this opportunity to hydrate real quick. Since nobody has redeemed it yet. I'll go ahead and hydrate. Consider this a freebie. for the Redeems Veil. I will also get up and stretch, too. Cool. 
traversing into the three redeems. Good to go. Did you find the commander, Avi? The commander is already at Mount Coronet. Already? How could a grown man like Commander Commodore be so reckless? First expelling you, Avi, now this? I think he needs a stern talking to. Thank you for the, the perma slug as well. I will switch to that. There we go. The slug is here now. <sighs> Alright. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to Almighty Sinnoh, who reigns over all space, I can go anywhere in Vast Hisui that I please. Now I'm going to go stop the commander. The sternest of talkings, too. <laughs> Who is the reckless one? Adam, is this... <laughs> is that so, VT? Hey, you got out of the village. You got out of the... Bleh. Let me read that again. You got run out of the village, right? You... But you still tried to find a way to help us all? He has a descendant in teal mask. I see. I did not know that. That's right. Have you worked hard to get that red chain to help everybody? There's still Colossal Dorks, yeah? Too right. And, and a fine job she did, too. The Survey Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village. As well as for the sake of our relations with Pokemon. And has the eyebrow shape. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Here, take this. What have you got? A max revive. Cool. Your orders are three. One. Make for the summit camp, and from there, the Temple of Sin. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. Silene does care. <laughs> she does care after. <laughs> Thank you, Saffron. Thank you, Saffron. I've heard the latest. I've heard the latest. So you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, some max potions for me to celebrate. Cool. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adaman and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Abby, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Kamado intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I'll set up shop closer to the temple itself. Alright. God, it's you again. <laughs> it's this guy again. Things certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here. For moral support, at least. For moral support. 
Yeah, he, he knows. He knows he can't do shit. Alright, let's go this way. At least he's self-aware. <laughs> yeah. Go. Go this way. Oh, that was a little weird. This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. Think you could go ask for me? Yeah, I can't imagine anyone being a fan of Melly either. I, I I can't imagine that. I'm sure someone out there is, but I I just can't see it. I'll take on gods and shit. I'm just gonna sit this one out. Yeah, yeah, okay. You have fun with that. It just like skunk tank man. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Uh oh. Still alive and kicking? Oh, it's it's the potato mochi man. Oh sorry about having to shutter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there. I'd much rather be there now. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. You wanna like skunk tank trainers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This music. Oh, yeah. But that Taskmaster Commodore's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. It's a real, yeah, it's a good... Uh, good Mount Coronet arrangement. Coronet Summit always fantastic, yeah. Want to guess who Benny's the ancestor of? Hmm. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. The fuck, dude? I'll make myself play. As Commodore's right hand, I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Commodore can or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. <laughs> we know her <laughs> tone. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound? At last, at last. <laughs> Meant to use it for quick changes, I suppose so. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. Right. Miss Maggie is, huh? Okay. Alright, here we go. Airsect's just here to die in one hit. Alright, you have power gem, huh? Here we don't go. Agile flamethrower. 
Here we go. Let's hope that uh, power gem doesn't Oko here. Oh, we got a burn. Nice. Alright, strong style hex. This is the combo. Nice. Gardevoir next. Calm Mind, okay. Agile? Agile Psychic, alright. You just get to spam it, alright. Yeah, the <laughs> Parasect just left to die in a hot car. As far as it. TPC is concerned. Alright, you want to play the, the stat boosting game? We'll play the stat boosting game. Shadow Ball. Let's do it. What music do you put on for Parasect in the car? Good question. Oh, nice, your combine wore off. Shadow Ball, let's do it. Do it again. Nice, there we go. Gallade. Okay. Agile Psycho Cut. Okay. Let's see. Extra scent. We'll just go with Shadow Ball for the stab. But also, we should heal. Yeah, heal you up. Swords Dance. Okay. Agile Combine to do that. There we go. Okay. Even close about his uh, descendant before these guys came out. I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not sure, but, hold on, but I think I may have an idea. <laughs> Alright, Mystical Fire, Shadow Ball. Yeah, click Shadow Ball here. See, see what it does. Yeah, that does it. Sneasler. Dire Claw. Alright, let's heal you up again. We can handle this sneezily. <laughs> Unless it crits, or, or poisons. Anyway, extrasensory. Strong style. Goodbye. Just click strong style for the flex. Hmm. Alright, we did a good chunk of damage. Floatzel can finish this thing off. Oh, you did say it would be four times effective. Propress. <laughs> Alright, anyway, uh, Floatzel, kick his ass. Alright, a hard hitting stance.
Goodbye. It seems my ninja techniques will soon be will soon be consigned to history. Alright, half of my team got level ups, the other didn't. Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Abby. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. Kamado and I saw our hometown burned to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. Yeah, someone finally made it to level 50, or past level 50. <laughs> it was about time. That's why Kamado came here to Isui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokémon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Kamado from himself. By force, if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Thanks. All right, let's. Oh, no need to heal. That's that's all taken care of. We'll make another save here, and we'll continue forward. Take <laughs> to dinner first. Oh wait. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Racing. Yeah. Could have phrased that a little better. Cutscene. You better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain. That Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak any moment now. I think it may be Almighty Sinnoh. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. Still trying to murder you, yeah. That's just how gay people are, yeah. Almighty Sinnoh seems to, seems to be nearly here. Still, the commander obstructs us. Be gay, do murder, yeah. Be gay, do murder. Volo. Well, this is it. Have you bought everything you need? Alright, uh... Oh my god, why does the... Why does the spacebar open... Open the Genki website when you... <laughs> Come on. When... when why does it do that? Murder is a crime. Crime is not necessarily a murder. Well, Saffron, it could be. It could be someone else. It's a murder of other people's trust. Oh, yeah, there he is. <sighs> you again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. Galarian! <laughs> I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea. But can I truly put my faith in such tales? Of course. Commander, please, be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty toward my clan. But doubting Abby like this, 
You're not just wrong, you're a fool. Answered with trust me. Uh, perhaps you are right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this girl, and that faith were to be betrayed, how could I possibly face my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Abby is putting her life on the line as well. Source, trust me, bro. Uh, fine. Enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Whichever of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, Abby. Today we battle in earnest. Okay. Time to square up. Uh, okay. Bad lead. Bad lead already. Mustache. All right. <laughs> it's just flowing in the wind. All right, here we go. Let's mob this bird. Asper Wang, right? All right, let's let's finish you off. It's a good thing I have Floatzel on my team. It's a good uh, it's a good revenge killer. Yeah, get out of here. Snorlax. Okay. Switch to Drift Blim here. The only thing I possibly have to worry about here is if the... Uh, the only thing I possibly have to worry about is Crunch. I don't think Snorlax has Crunch here, but we're gonna Calm Mind just to be safe. Zen Headbutt, okay. Alright. Let's click Mystical Fire here, actually. Put it at a put it at a disadvantage. Yeah, thankfully Drift Limb is tanky enough to to handle these hits. Let's use a max potion here. Yeah. All right, it's still at a disadvantage thanks to Mystical Fire. Okay. Agile Hop Mind. I mean, it was still at a disadvantage when it hit, so... The timing isn't that off. Alright, let's heal you back up again. Yeah, still ain't doing much. Regular Calm Mind here. Okay. Oh, it missed. Nice. Mystical Fire. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's it, it's got nothing. Can't do anything to us. This, this would be. This would have gone a lot worse if it had crunch. But it's it's actually fine. Now this, on the other hand, yeah. It's a bench time. Good night, pass. Alright. Good knife. Alright. Strong Aqua Tail. Hit him. See, see how much this does. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Clefable, huh? It's clicking Calm Mind. Agile double hit. Alright, let's see what this does. It probably won't do as much. But let's see. Let's try regular Aqua Tail. I did a good chunk. Psychic, huh? Okay, noted. Hmm. All right. Agile flamethrower, see if we get a burn. Let's try it. Nice. All right. Now take her down. Nice. Ty Typhlosion coming in clutch. Any Pokémon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Yeah, we did it. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Abby, the fates have decided. I concede, and I apologize sincerely for doubting you. Commander Kamado. I know I have no right to ask you ask it of you any longer. Please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No. For the sake of the Celestica people and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Yeah, starter's level fifty as well. Maybe racism is wrong. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Bring the red chain to the Dyson in the Temple of Sinnoh. Let's go. Oh. Haven't seen you in a while. Commander's headed to the temple, but... I fear the situation is already beyond our control. The moment has come. I wonder just what is happening on the other side of the space-time rift. You can do this, Abby. I believe in you. Cool statues. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we got here. These are all the all the nobles, I believe, right? Oops. 
Actually, wait, yeah, this is the right, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're healed up. Yeah, these are, these are all the, uh, all the nobles and, and some of our, uh, some of the Pokemon are helping us. Yeah. This, oh, we can investigate them. All right, let's, let's read these. See what they say. A statue of one of the Pokemon that was said to have been loyal to the ancient hero. Do they all say this? I guess they all say this, yeah. Overquill oh. looks stupid. <laughs> kind of. Is that Overquill or is that Electrode? I think that's... That's Electrode, yeah. That's, that's not Overquill. Yeah, they they all say the same thing. They're all they've all been loyal to the ancient hero. Come on. Now's the time. Use the red chain. Wait. What What is this? There's a voice in my head. No, in my heart. It's speaking to me. Give him the pointy lashes. <laughs> oh. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then. Whoa, Irida. Do you hear what you're saying? Catch you? But Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh may be speaking to me. It's telling me you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, for the fight to come. Please think of the game's rating. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. Cool. All right. Are we actually doing it? Local deity agrees to enslavement. Palkia. Mecha God Silva. <laughs> ah. Oops, maybe you were right, Comet. <laughs> Nothing was accomplished. Everyone clap. Oh shit, we were standing way too close to that. How did you survive? Holy shit. <laughs> Literally one HP. <laughs> Damn, all right. Very carefully. Right, Parasite, do the one thing you're meant for. Nice. Alright, Palkia is still gonna get to two turns though, so. We'll click X scissor here. Yeah, Parasect survived for two whole turns. I mean, he, he did it. <laughs> he survived when it mattered most. Okay. Let's see, who else can we, who else can we send in? Probably Driftblim here. Agile Combine. Okay. 
Nice, and it actually gets to it actually gets another turn. And then agile mystical fire as well. Still too drowsy to move. Cool. I think Palkia makes that ridiculous ratio general lizard noise and Yuri does that. <laughs> That's what it sounds like in the anime? Maybe. <laughs> I, I know exactly which one you're talking about, VT. Uh, which, which one are you thinking, though? Because there's like, there's like three different... <laughs> There's like three different versions of that. <laughs> Let me see. The one you hear most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but let me let me see. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get a video here. All right. All right, let's see if it's this one. Uh, did, did it play? Hold on. Wait, no, that was the... <laughs> That's not it. Hold on. Like <laughs> Not that one. Yeah the, yeah, the funny thing though is that that was the Tim Allen grunt. <laughs> Just played. Someone edited that. Someone edited that one in. I hope that wasn't too loud. <laughs> That's canon now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's. Let's do Agile Extrasensory here. Gotta weaken this thing just enough. Hydro Pump. Um, we don't get another turn here. With, with any of these, I don't, yeah. Okay. All right, we got lucky the the past couple times. Like, okay, yeah, we, we were able to catch the uh, catch the Pokemon with with the very first ball we threw. If it if this actually happens a third time, there there's no way. There's no possible way. Okay. All right. Let, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. Our, our luck had to run out at some point. Yeah. Like there was, there was no way we were gonna, we were gonna get it a third time. Hands down, the best Pokemon cry. <laughs> All right, let me let me see this one. All right, let's let's see here. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah, that's the exact same sound effect. <laughs> yeah, third time's the charm. Yeah, I, I wish I knew. <laughs> I also wish I knew where that was from. It, it's probably from a kaiju film, yeah. Alright. Will this do it? Nope. Oh, it missed. Nice. Uh, let's see.
Probably close combat? This shouldn't do that much damage. Like, we want to try to weaken it. Uh, I guess that works too. But does it? Get out of there! Regroup! Yeah, Reckless Star Raptor. <laughs> yeah, I used one back in uh, back in Gen 6. Don't forget what that Pokemon said when it spoke to me. It said try to catch me. Hmm. If you have the strength to defeat it, surely you'll be able to catch it as well. Okay, it's a, it's a forced it's a forced catch. Please enslave me. <laughs> it's time to catch the Pokemon. Are you ready to battle it? Do we get healed? Do, do we get a heal? We do. We do. Okay. All right, I'm ready. I'm 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 ready. Can you can you let me through, please? Oh, you you have to go back to that specific spot from there. Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. So Parasect survived. Parasect survived <laughs> with 1 HP last time. Surely it won't happen again, right? Also, let's let's get away from here so we don't Yeah. And it got a crit. Okay. <laughs> I guess that would explain it. Yeah, Palkia got a crit. Yeah, it's a good remix. All right, here we go. <laughs> you can tell... I can tell you're... Uh, it's a bit delayed on your end, Adam. Because <laughs> you're just talking about the game fucking up. Out of the way for your particles end up in Kalos or some shit. <laughs> All right. All right. Now we can now we can stall out with Driftblim. One sec. Okay. All right. Calm mind here. Yeah, I was able to see that the uh, the test. Okay. Here we go. Still, still a ton of damage. This does not help the uh, turn order. But we'll do it anyway. Okay. Test for you, I see. Alright, Ultra Ball, let's see if we can do it. Think you got it? Alright, good. Let's see if See what this does. Nope. All right. And mystical fire already wore off. Like <laughs> all they gave me were those were those 10 ultra balls. I got like a hundred great balls too. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going through the through the ultra balls first since they're more likely to catch. And and if those don't work, we have plenty of great balls to go through. All right, 
may need to pull out some revives, depending on how this goes. Alright, will this work? Nope, it escaped. And it's still hitting its Hydro Pups. Pull out. <laughs> oh, you just automatically send out your last Pokemon. Okay, let's, let's revive. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, Wish. Wish is ready to... Wish is ready to bonk chat. You have no more Pokémon that can battle. Try to catch me, though. And we're, we're forced into this, all right. So I tried to, yeah, it did say that. Yeah, Palkia didn't say it would be easy. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Wish. Are you, are you here to, are you here to bonk chat? for being horny on main once again. All right. Why do why are we standing so close? No bonk emote. Well, I can fix that. Yeah, I think I think that's the way to go. Well, no bonk just yet, but but you wait. I will be adding one. Um, yeah, j just hit it with a strong attack to lower its HP. But not too much. Oh, Lord, it's defensive stats, okay. Right, keep going at it. Alright, Luxray, let's see what you can do. Thunderfang. Well, that's perfect, actually. Strong. What's it clicking strong? Oh, strong style Earth Power. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Alright, well, this. No, we don't need to... we don't need to Agile here. Surely we can catch it now. You know. You know. Okay, Online Mystical Fire here. Let's see. Strong style... yeah, click Strong Style Mystical. Actually, no, that's, that's too risky. Do Agile Mystical Fire instead. It's already at very low health, and it and it faints anyway. What? Are we actually getting XP off this thing? Are you telling me we can potentially grind off of this? <laughs> like, we can... Okay. We can level grind off of this Palkia. <laughs> that... I don't think you're. I don't think you should be allowed to do that. <laughs> Palkia does want to help after all. <laughs> yeah, you know. It, it's even offering to help you level grind.
Seriously, that that does not seem like it should be possible. Okay, I, I guess Parasect is is just just tanky enough to be able to to survive. Yeah, Parasect can live a single spatial rend, assuming Palkia doesn't get a crit. That's that's what it seems like here. Honestly, if we if we just focus on knocking Palkia out, Parasect can still get XP. That's that's what it seems like to me. But the other thing is though, we can't hit this thing too hard. Otherwise it'll just it'll just faint. We can't catch it. Uh strong style aqua jet. Let's see what this does. Not very effective. It is too drowsy to move, though. Alright, strong crunch. Wasn't it? Oh, wait. I had assumed this, uh, this thing is supposed to be water psychic. I'm not sure where I got that from, though. Um, all right, Luxray? Luxray next. It's Water Dragon. It, it looks, it looks like it would be a Psychic type to me. Maybe, maybe it's the color scheme. The, the color scheme just screams Psychic to me. Whereas the... Uh... Whereas Steel Dragon, yeah, that that works for that works for Dialga. Just Palkia looks like it should be psychic. All right. Anyway, let's see here. Try a Thunder Fang. See if it paralyzes. <laughs> okay. I mean, look, our Pokémon are getting stronger, so this is helping. It's helping in a way. Like, if anything, they'll be less likely to... <laughs> less likely to collapse against, the, against Palkia. So that's... that is beneficial to us. I should probably stick to uh, to agile, agile hits. Yeah, if I if I switch Parasect out of the first slot, then he can also get some XP. Okay, let's quickly move out of the way so we don't. <laughs> So don't get hit by a spatial rend. It's like, what, what are what are we doing? Why do we stand so close to there? All right. Like Parasect is mostly just there to uh, to click spore. It clicks spore once and faints. <laughs> That's that it it does that job it does that job just fine without XP. Okay. Let's think about what we want to switch in here. Maybe Okay, it's at full health. Let's try clicking Thunder Fang now. No stances, just regular Thunder Fang. Okay, it doesn't get paralyzed. We do get some damage on it, though, so that's good. Like, even with that... Even with that XP, Luxray just dies to a single... Strong-style Earth Power. 
Okay. Let's try a crunch. Again, no... No styles, just a regular crunch. Let's see what it does. Alright, cool. Let's do Aqua Jet. Just ever so slightly knock its health down. Okay. Cool. Um, could this do it? Could this actually work? Let's find out. It's low, it's got a status. We did it! We caught Palkia. It's over. Pog. I know, Jesus Christ, Adam, calm down. <laughs> she caught it, right? She caught Almighty Sinnoh. The red chain's been shattered, but we've still got the Pokemon of the Lakes to thank for getting this far. Oh, well done, Abby, my girl. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Not sure that chain did. <laughs> yeah. It... What, what, what did that red chain do exactly? <laughs> You know, other than shatter into a million pieces. It's all because she had me to show her me to show her the ropes when she first got here. Yeah, whatever, Ray. Huh. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No. It, it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia speaking to me in my mind. Space-time grows chaotic. The power fails. The frenzied one. It comes now to fight. That is why I am here. My name is Palkia. God damn it, I've had enough of this. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Abby could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. My name's not <laughs> Oh, hey, Dialga. With the choice from earlier decided that makes sense. There's more. I think we're I think we're running from this one. Are are we? <laughs> the the transcriptions of these cries are, are something else. <laughs> Like the idea of Palkia being like, this guy is mad fucked up, he can't even talk. <laughs> yeah. All of you, we must vacate this. Ah, forget the fancy. Book it. Come on. Why don't we get back to the summit camp while we still can? <laughs> they kept the original transcriptions from Diamond and Pearl. Oh, that's cool. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. Cockney. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce. You won't be any use to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, gotta get gone. Yeah, we're we're. <laughs> Looks like we're leaving. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you had managed to stay on your feet before it, Abby. Did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? 
It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what caused the strange lightning that threw the noble Pokémon into their frenzied states. The idea is that you, you need the red chain to dispel their spatial energy. Hmm. That would make sense. So our two clans truly were following different Almighty Sinnoh, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events. To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as fellow leaders. Racism is solved once again. You saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Abby. And to you, Abby. I acted on ill-considered presumptions that drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us and dwell on the past, huh? The idea that Abby's just coasting through all this because she knows she can do anything after dealing with Cynthia's guard shop. <laughs> Yashi <you>, Barry, yeah. <laughs> just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. Seems that having Abby about has been a good influence on all. That's only natural. Abby is strong enough to, to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be alright. Armed with the knowledge mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia? The Pokemon that talked to you? Yes, it told me its name. That's not all. It also told me this. The stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red. The vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three, and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. Okay. And then, Mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Oh, that chain of red is in pieces now, but if little bits will do, I gathered those. And the vessel of humankind's invention. I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. You know, it's the whole thing in Pokemon, literally no one knows jack shit about type matchups and health items except for the player, but this is the one scenario where it's literally true. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's gotta be it. What about that Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable, He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? Warden Leon will be a fine resource to consult. And what are your, and what are your thoughts, Professor Laverton? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Abby, my girl, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirdeer and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them? Okay. The plates. Yeah, I forgot about those. Aha! Huh. Just as I remembered. Here on the back of the Earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing. As he said, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Now that you mention it, that Volo fellow has come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided, then. 
Thus begins our search for the Stone of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I propose we call it Origin Ore. The Counterparts. Irida, may we ask for your plan's aid once more? Of course. I'll call Liam to the summit camp at once. Alright. Takuya's like, no, that name sucks. Use mine. <laughs> I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. It's this guy again. <laughs> now, Adam, I see all these other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. Yay, said no one. But what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? <sighs> I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, would you? Wait, fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job, great leader Adamant, and make it a good one. <sighs> you want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adamant. Oh, 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 you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they are suited to and work... Suited to and work they are not. Work they are suited to and work they are not. And, oh, before I forget. It seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. Candy truffles. Gee, thanks. I like the same visual effect in the skies when they awaken in Diamond and Pearl. Yeah. It's been a while since I've played Platinum, but it does make sense. In front, Leon. Yeesh. That ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. <sighs> Hisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleavor in battle? With that bumbling ball of yours? Excuse me? That bumbling ball is more than capable of sapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? <sighs> Nelly, give it a rest and play nice to the Pearl Clan folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. Bumbling ball. <laughs> but Adamant... Everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak to Almighty Sinnoh, or Palkia, or whatever. Do you want them to hog all the glory? No, you have a Grass-type versus a Bug-type. Grow up. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. And let us set out at once. We make for the Primeval Grotto. Head for the place where you can obtain Origin Horror. What if that dialogue plays out if you picked Adamin? <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, I imagine... <laughs> I imagine Melly would be a lot more smug about it. <laughs> uh, assuming he... Assuming he shows up at that point. But... <sighs> yeah. We've been going... We've been going almost two, almost three hours, it looks like. Um, we got anybody to raid? Let's see, who's live? Blue Candy, I see. Good Apple Boy. Turnip, turnip Boy. Okay. Yeah, it's been nearly three hours. Yeah, Glow is online, but... Uh, but it looks like he's it looks like he's ending stream though. He might be raiding Ify as well. 
Yeah, the the thumbnail was on his uh, see you next time screen. But yeah, he's he is also wrapping up. So let's go say hi to Ify then. Before I leave though, I'll uh, I'll drop these links in chat. And you may be interested. There's a Discord. There's a link tree. All that stuff. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow with some more Paper Mario TTYD. Have fun beating up God next week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we will we will say a high fee high fee to high fee for you, Adam. Right, I'm gonna I've got the raid set up. I am going to I am going to wait for whatever ad's about to play, though. Oh yeah, no, I'll try to have the uh, the loading screen, <laughs> the uh, the starting soon screen fixed up. Try to balance out the audio for each uh, for each music track. Okay, yeah, there's there's an ad. What is this? Some kind of VR thing? What what, what in the metaverse is this shit? Oh, it's Roblox. Okay. All right, the ad's done. Oh, hold on. Now it's done. All right. Um, I don't have a uh, raid message, so say, say whatever you, say whatever you want to. All right. See you next time, everybody. Take care. And yeah, goodbye. I'll I'll come up with a better ending message at some point. But yeah, see ya. See you guys. <laughs>